Meet Sheila, a beautiful girl from a beautiful family, decked out with all the trimmings of wealth and luxury. But Sheila has grown tired of the beautiful life. It's dull, and all she wants is a little excitement. Starring Carissa Martin, Dave Zaneski, and Rob DeSantis, here now is Morton Fine and David Friedkin's 1953 radio play about the Roaring Twenties and the violent people who lived them. As with song and story, we tell you, St. James Infirmary Blues. over there? Brock. Brock Martin. And all those guys around him? Mm-hmm. Every one of them gangsters. I told you, didn't I? I told you I'd take you to the fanciest speakeasy in New York. That's Brock. He owns this whole end of town. You, you see the way they let me in, Sheila, right? It was very impressive, Freddie, dear. And, and how do you like the liquor here, huh? Right from Canada. Now, one thing about Brock... Freddie... Yeah, honey. Who's he? Huh? The boy with the black hair. Oh! He's... He's Brock's trigger. What does that mean, honey? <laughs> oh, baby, baby. Trigger. Trigger means you want somebody out of the way. Shot. And the boy with the black hair does it. Well, that, that's what the papers say. That's Nick Volpe. You know him? Oh, well, you, you, you point these guys out. You don't really know them. Hey, 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 where are you going? Hey, yeah, that's what he said. Three to two on Dempsey tomorrow in Philly, Brock. Hey, man, don't you think we ought to take off? Yeah, whatever you say, Nicky. Yeah, whatever Nicky says. <laughs> oh, this, uh, this yours, Nicky? Nicky hasn't started to find out yet. Who are you, baby? Sheila. This is Sheila, Brock. Go on. Tell him, baby. It's a dull place. I don't like dull. <laughs> you see, Brock? <laughs> oh, sit down, Sheila. I got a table. I know. I saw. I know. You stared, Nikki. But I was too far away. You really couldn't tell. Uh, Freddy. Uh, hello, Mr. Vompy. You're whom? Oh, Oh, ju just a customer. I just brought Sheila here. Uh, Sheila? It was lovely, Freddy. Yeah, I, I, I guess we'd better go now. Goodbye, Freddy. Hey, I can't leave you here with these... Uh, uh, Sheila? Valentino's playing down the street, Freddy. Go see him. Yeah, do that. But, but... Do it, Freddy. Hi, Nick. The doll went away, didn't it? Keep it like that. <laughs> sure. I'd roam the wide world over, but none so sweet, so fair as my love and baby Nikki. Like red rockets in the air. You having fun, Sheila? Love it. How fast are we going? Hey, how fast are we going, Cleo? Sixty! Next corner, Cleo. Oh, I know where to stop, Nikki. Don't worry. <laughs> you know, you'll are all right, baby. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You're not going to get hurt, are you? <laughs> nah, never. Hey, be back in a minute. Cleo, 
Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> How long have you been with Nicky? <laughs> Driving him? Oh, a long time. He's nice, isn't he? No, well, he's collecting, not married. But exciting. You ought to go home. Exciting. This week, a whole week of Nicky. You don't. All right. Let's get going, Cleo. Any trouble, boss? <laughs> nah, just pie. Little guy in that store even thanked me for the protection we gave him. Nikki? What, baby? Nothing. Just Nikki. Yeah, Nikki. <laughs> You're not smiling, Nikki. Trouble? Uh, not much. Cleo. Yeah, 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 I know. Take it slow. Get down in the car, baby. Nikki? Get down in the car, baby. I told you. All right, beat it. Sheila, honey. What? You know why that happened? You know why that man's store just blew up in his face? Sheila, when I tell you to do something, you'll do it, huh? in this drink, I was thinking, wouldn't it? Shut up. All right, here. Take my drink. Lousy booze. What? What's the matter, Nick? Look, anybody asks you, I've been here for the last five hours. Sure, but... What I... happens if anyone asks you? You were here. Five hours, Nick. Right. Now you tell me. Listen to me. A guy got killed. Who? What difference does it make? He was hauling a load of booze from Montreal, and they didn't make it. He got hijacked. He didn't do what he was told to do, so he's dead. You killed him, Nikki? How could I kill him? I've been here for the last five hours. That's right, Nick. It was Brock's booze. It was Brock's boy who got killed. Brock will kill you for it. You should Listen have... to me. Don't you know what I'm telling you? Nick! You're hurting Brock's gonna me. kill nobody, you understand? Nick! Huh? Now, do ya? Well? Answer it, baby. Hello? Nikki, you there? Who's this? Brock. He's here, Brock. You wanna talk to him? How long's he been there? Five hours. Uh, listen, Miss Sheila, you tell him something for me. Tell him McCready never got in with his truck because he got killed. You tell Nick that uh, McCready's going to have a funeral tomorrow. Tell him to be there. I'll tell him. Nick? You did good. I I'm scared. Touch this to you, baby. It scares away the scare. 50,000 times, one for each dollar. All that money? All that happy time, baby. Put it away for a rainy day for us. You like Cuba, baby? Right now, I like it right here. Nick, Cuba's later. So we went down to the funeral. Somebody, huh? 
Mm -hmm. McCready would have liked it. Where's Nikki, Cleo? I haven't seen him for the last half hour. Sheila! Ah, <clears throat> oh, how you, how you, Brock? He wants you, Miss Sheila. What? Well, he's nodding to you. That means he wants you. In here, Sheila. I want to talk to you. Sit down. You want a drink? No. You uh, want Nicky? What did you do to him? Nothing's going to happen to him that you won't know about. He was with me. He didn't kill McCready. I swear he was with me, Brock. You're a pretty girl, Sheila. You got a nice face. Take care of yourself. Mostly, don't lie. Don't kill him, Brock. He was the only one that knew about that load of booze from Montreal. I got a call from Patterson, New Jersey, a guy who runs things over there. He laughed in my face. He said my boy Nick just sold him a load of my whiskey. You want to see Nick? Sure you do. Charlie, bring him in. Inside, big shot. Nikki! Hiya, Sheila. It's all right, baby. It doesn't hurt. Sure it don't, Nick. Nothing's gonna hurt no more. Take him, Charlie. Let's go, big shot. Your ride's what we got for you. Uh, you too, Sheila. Come on. Okay, Cleo. Yes, sir. Out, Nick. Baby. Shh, shh, come on, come on. She won't let him go, boss. Make her. Yeah. Yeah, she let go. Come on, Nick. Uh, bye, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick! Nicky! You better believe it, Sheila. It just happened to him. You being a good girl, Sheila. I like that. Just, uh... Try to smile when we get inside the club. Open it, Lefty. Smile, Sheila. Just like you came from a party with laughs. Yeah, some other time. Uh, my, my office, Sheila. Inside. Here, I'll take your coat. Brock? Sit down, Sheila. Drink it. Nick used to tell me to do things and I did them. He's dead now. You're not. Thank me, Sheila. You're fat. <laughs> Nick was a good boy. When he met you, something happened to him. He crossed me. Now he's dead. You see what I can do, Sheila? You're fat and you're old. I've seen them like you. Beautiful. Oh, culture's the word, isn't it? Yeah, good family, money, everything. But really, nothing at all. Excitement's what you need, isn't it? What do I do to you, Brock? I don't know. But I do it, don't I? Yeah. Make me another drink, Brock. Sheila, how you... Make me another drink. All right, Sheila. Yeah. Here. Drink it, baby, and we'll make it the start of a... <coughs> Wipe the gin off your double chin, Brock. Enjoy it? Mm-hmm. All right. Let me tell you. Let me make my mind up about something. Whether we should ride back to where Nikki got his and throw you away. You think uh, that would be exciting, Sheila? Do it right here. You got the gun. You want to kiss me? Go ahead. You taste of gin. I gotta stay alive now, huh, Brock? Bye. Clarinet played so sad Hop 
Your heart, your heart so terribly. Brock, bring him to me. You need a doctor, Nikki. I'll get you a doctor. Yeah, I don't want one. I want Brock. Get him for me. Listen, listen. I'm dying, Sheila. And I want Brock before I die. You gotta do it for me. I can do it for you, Nikki. And a gun. Yes. Go to Cleo. She'll give you a gun. Yeah. yeah. Lie down, Nick. Here. Uh, put your arm around me. We'll do it. We'll do it, won't we? We'll kill Brock. We'll kill him. Ah, uh, Miss, Miss Sheila. Hello, Cleo. May I come in? I don't know. Sure you do. What do you want? I want a gun, Cleo. Oh, I, I can't do that, Miss Sheila. Why not? Oh, Brooke did not tell me to give you a gun. It doesn't matter. Oh, you're wrong. You're wrong, Miss Sheila. That, that's what matters the most. You see, if, if Brock called me and said, you, you give, to give you a gun, it would be all right. I'll call him. All right. You want to know what I'm going to tell him? Yeah, yeah, I know. About the gun. I listen. No. No, Cleo. I'm going to tell him about you. <laughs> about me? Yes. About how you were waiting for me when I left his place. How you wanted to talk about the plan. How you told me you and Nikki were in cahoots. How you were still angling to take over Brock's turf. How you wanted to cut me in on the deal. Two women going after the great white whale known as Brock Garvey. And how I'm here now. And I got you cornered. Please, please, M Miss Sheila, put the phone down now. All right. What about the gun? Uh, I will get it. Here. Thanks, Cleo. Miss Sheila? Yeah? What do you want it for? Let me ask you something, Cleo. Did you like Nicky? Yeah, I liked him all right. He's alive. Oh, you got to be kidding. Brooke got rid of Nikki's I... alive, Cleo. He liked you. I thought you'd want to know. Cleo, don't. Hand over 79715. Cleo? I, oh, I, I, I got to. Miss Sheila Brock is my boss. I would never betray him. Oh, he got to know. Cleo, don't. Oh. No, you got to understand me, Sheila. No. no. Ah. Hello. 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 Hello, Brock. Who is this? It's Sheila. She. Oh. Hello, Sheila. I'm lonely, Brock. Yeah. Dull again, huh? Dull. I can fix it, baby. It'll take you about an hour to get to my place, won't it, Brock? That's how long I can stand it without you. Well, just settle down. I'll be there. See ya. Sheila. It's me, honey. How do you feel? It's better now. You're here. I got the gun, Nick. Give it to me. 
Three bullets missing, Sheila. I know. Been fired. No long ago, either. I know. What happened? I told Cleo you were alive. She was going to call Brock. So you shot her. Let me hold you, Nick. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Nikki? What, baby? It was easy. Is Brock coming? He'll be here in about a half hour. Hold me, baby. No tears, no blues. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh, it hurts me to laugh, Sheila. But it's funny. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to him. You want me to do it for you, Nick? Shoot him. I'll do it. Just show him in the living room, baby. Then I'll make an entrance. You snapped your fingers and I came running, Sheila. I'll snap him again, Brock. What are you going to do now? You tell me. <laughs> no, I mean it. I'll think of something. Take off your coat. We'll have some music. Sure. Nice place you got here. Nick liked it. Eh, tough about him. Hey, dance with me, honey. You uh, want to dance with me? You dance. Whether or not you put your hands on her. I couldn't stand that. Nick! All I did was say goodbye to everybody. What are you going to do, Brock? No, no. No, don't, don't do it, Nick. He's gonna. No, 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 please, then, Nick, listen. It ain't, it ain't like we thought. Any pretty words before you no. die, Brock? I'm telling you, Nick, listen. <laughs> now it's over, baby. Now we'll get a doctor. No, no. It's too late, baby. But it was fun. Wasn't it fun, Sheila? Nick, don't die. Baby, baby, please. Nick. Nick! Here's your receipt, officer. Received by St. James Infirmary. One body, dead on arrival, Brock Garby. Also received, one Nick Volpe, died five minutes after arrival. Right. Now, what's she doing in there? The girl? Oh, just standing there by his table, staring at him. Get her. Okay. Hey, miss. Policeman says he wants you. Says you gotta go with him now. Well, here she is, officer. You see what you wanted to see, miss? I saw. I saw my Nikki, all stretched out on the table. So sweet. So cold. So fair. Let him go, let him go, and bless him. Wherever he may be, he can look this wide world over, and he'll never find a sweet gal like me. So closes Cloak and Dagger on the Air's presentation of St. James Infirmary Blues, starring Carissa Martin as Sheila, Dave Zaneski as Nick, Rob DeSantis as Brock, Nancy Longo as Cleo and the Coroner, Chris Carter as Freddie and the Officer, Gretchen Carter and Bethany Fernbaugh as the Barflies, and Pete Fernbaugh as Charlie. St. James Infirmary Blues was written by Morton Fine and David Friedkin and adapted for Cloak and Dagger on the Air by Pete Fernbaugh. Shane Meredith managed our sound and Lakin Weaver provided the score.